Hello, it's Alex, and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. I'm back with another Nightmare Queens video where I talk about vintage horror written by women, and today I'm going to be talking about two books by Ruby Jean Jensen, Mama and Annabelle. These are both creepy doll stories, but they do manage to be their own unique story, even though they have that similar theme, and I really enjoyed both of them. First up, let's talk about Mama, which was originally published in 1983. This is about a family. We have Elsie and Vern and their three children, Stephanie, the oldest child, Tommy, the middle child, and the youngest, five-year-old Dory. Vern has had a long-term illness and has been in hospital for some time and near the beginning of the story he passes away leaving Elsie and the children alone and since he was the person that brought in the money to the family they're now in a difficult situation financially. But Elsie's parents help out and let them stay in their old family home, which hasn't been lived in for some time. It's been on the market, they've actually been trying to sell it, but with no luck. So Elsie and the children move in to this big old house in the middle of nowhere and make that their new home. Elsie's grandparents used to live in that house and she has memories of being there as a child but it hasn't been lived in for quite some time so they have to clean the place up and bring all of their stuff in and get settled in. Of course the whole family is dealing with the death of Vern and Elsie is grieving for the loss of her husband and also finding herself in this new living situation, trying to care for her children, and the children are all dealing with the death of their father in their own different ways. Dory, the youngest child, has always been the quietest one of the three, and the one who spends a lot of time by herself, and she seems to retreat even further after the death of her father, and now that they've moved into this different house, she spends a lot of time by herself and she goes exploring in the attic where she finds a bunch of old dolls and toys and she quickly becomes obsessed with playing with them and spending all of her time in the attic with them. Dory seems to use these toys as a coping mechanism for dealing with the death of her father and as much as she wishes she could breathe life back into her father and bring him back, she tries to do the same with these toys and bring them to life. And at first Dory is really happy to have all of these new friends to play with, but they start to turn on her and some strange things start to happen and Dory's older brother Tommy realises that something strange is happening but he knows no one's going to believe him so he tries to take matters into his own hands and help Dory uh, escape from these menacing toys. The mother, Elsie, is trying to start this new life of hers without her husband and she doesn't really realise what is happening to Dory until it's too late. I really enjoyed this one. I really enjoy Ruby Jean Jensen's writing style. It's really easy to get into and I like her descriptions and her characters. Her characters are kind of everyday characters that you can relate to and therefore the situations they find themselves in have an emotional impact. And this book definitely had a couple of pretty emotional moments. It's more of a slower, quieter story, but it does have some creepy moments. The dolls and toys, yeah, there are some genuinely uh, unsettling scenes in this book that I thought were really effective. 
Next up is Annabelle, which was originally published in 1987. This is about the Norris family. We have businessman Paul, his wife Diane, Paul's children from a previous marriage and their mother has passed away. We have Brenda who is in her early 20s and has left home to pursue her art career. We have teenager Robert who still lives at home and spends most of his time in his room listening to music. And we have the youngest child, five-year-old Jessica, who is Paul's daughter with his second wife, Diane. Now, Diane is quite a bit younger than Paul and initially she fell head over heels for him and the idea of living in this big country mansion with him and raising a family. She now wants to pursue a career instead and she decides to up and leave and they have a bit of an argument about it but Diane has set her sights on career over her daughter and leaves. Paul is a very old-fashioned man and believes that women should be the ones to stay home and look after the children so he decides that he should call his 20-something daughter Brenda back and she can take care of Jessica. In the meantime, after Diane has left but before Brenda arrives, Jessica goes out to play a lot and she ends up going into this old abandoned house near her home which until now hasn't really been on her radar but she all of a sudden becomes really intrigued by it and decides she's going to wander over there and explore. And while she's there she finds what looks like used to be a little girl's room and it has this big doll house and these dolls and she starts to play with them and she also experiences some strange goings on in this house and the story goes from there. So again this is a creepy doll story like Mama but it's a very different story to Mama. This one does have quite a lot more characters and we hear parts of the story from these different perspectives which I really enjoyed and the story is a little bit more layered. We also have flashbacks to a previous time period which takes place in this old abandoned mansion before it was abandoned and this all starts to affect Jessica and she's constantly running away from home to spend time in this mansion and play with these dolls and the dolls want to keep her with them and do what they can to try and make that happen. I really enjoyed this one too. This one is more of a faster paced story than Mama with a bit more intensity to certain scenes and maybe a little more craziness as well which is always a good time. So those were my thoughts on Mama and Annabelle by Ruby Jean Jensen. These were both excellent reads, I rated them each four stars out of five and I would definitely recommend checking them out. I really enjoyed the fact that even though they're both creepy doll stories. They were both really different to each other. Mama is the more quieter, more sedate story but definitely with some creepiness and a really emotional aspect to the story too. Whereas Annabelle is a little more faster paced, a little bit more crazy and intense in places. I'd say it's maybe a bit more fun in a certain way but does have a dark storyline, um, especially involving this element that's told in the past. I'm really glad I got a chance to read these. These are new editions being published by Gail J. Foster and I did receive these from the publisher in exchange for my honest review. I will leave a link to the Ruby Jean Jensen website below so you can check out more info all of her books are going to be reissued so you can keep track of news on the release dates there and on their social media. They are also going to be released in ebook 
so that's great news for people who prefer that format and yeah generally it's just awesome news that these are being reissued they've been out of print for a really long time so it's great that hopefully they're gonna reach a new audience Anyway, I hope you are all doing well and staying safe from the coronavirus. I have had a cold for the past week, thankfully just a cold, but yeah, I've been feeling pretty rough nonetheless. I am starting to feel better, but still not quite over it yet. So thank you for putting up with my bunged up husky voice here and uh, yeah, my au naturel visage. But yeah, I hope you're all staying well. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.